Hello, everyone. So we have number 25 from 2024 AMCA. So this is the last question, which meant to be the most challenging question. And I remember last, like, I guess, year also, we had another probability problem as the number 25. So meaning that it's getting a bit challenging on probabilities for the last two years. So this was the, the last year's question for this one. So a small airplane has four rows, which is given, and with three seats in each row. And eight passengers uh, have board already, and they distribute them randomly, okay? And a married couple is the next two to board. And the question is asking was the probability that those two, like a couple, like those two people, will have a adjacent seats. Okay, so it's... Kind of obvious, it's clear what they're asking, but it's not really clear how to kind of approach the problem immediately. You know, there are eight people already uh, selected their seats, and we have no idea where they are actually sitting. And also, we like to know how those eight people actually are seated, so we can kind of see what are the options for the remaining four seats for these two like people to have this like next uh, seats. So that's kind of the, the tricky part. So whenever we have some, uh, a lot of cases, we usually uh, try to see if there are uh, some cases that we can go with. And if there are too many cases to consider, it is, if this is getting too challenging to think about it. So it is much better to deal with complementary counting, which is like, uh, we are gonna count what we do not want instead of what we want. Okay, so like, which is sometimes called bad choices. So let's think about the options. Like we are gonna like complete this uh, 12, like, I mean, this chart three by four chart by eight people in a way that there will be no way for those two people to have next next seat. So which is basically bad cases. So you could have, let's say like two people on the first row. Let's say you have two people like these two, that means the third person will go here. So, but for the couple, there is no way to get adjacent. So as long as we cover two of these three, then the couple will have no seat that is gonna be adjacent. So if I take two of these, regardless of what two I take, the couple will have nothing left to get uh, adjacent seats, okay? And the same as, as the next one and then next one. So meaning that if I had all these eight people are distributed like two on each row, right, two people right here, two people right here, two people right here, two people right here. So for those two people, like like coming as a couple, will have no chance to sit next to. So they will choose one of these uh, columns, but they will be uh, not in the same row. So that is, this is one of the bad cases. But this is not the only one. So maybe we can make a bit different. So this is one way that we cannot have to sit next to after the eight people are like seated. And next bad, cases is maybe we can have like three people right here, three people right here, which is already six, but we want to make sure that remaining six people like seats, they will now have two adjacent, which is why like if I just take this one right here, so let's say like we cover these three, right? And then that's already uh, six people. If I add the last two people like right here, so these two will be empty, which is going to be okay for those couple, but we don't want this to happen. So what is... For that reason, we just like to make sure that these middle ones actually be uh, kind of uh, selected before the, the couple. So which is why if I wanna go with this option, so if I just wanna choose three people on the first row, three people on the second row, and one person on the next two row, this is okay as long as we make sure that the, the middle seats are taken uh, by one of those eight people. So this is also another bad cases. And what else we have? So we could have maybe like three on one of these rows and then two is one of the other rows. Let's say, let's think about this option. So if I have this one taken, 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 let's say these two is taken, any of these two, doesn't matter which two. So we have five already and then we need three more. So we, we wanna make sure that we have to get like some seats that will not get to uh, other people will be having like adjacent seats. So maybe we can get two more right here, one more right here or the other way around. So let's say we take this guy and this guy. So this is going to be only one left. So which means we do need two. And then let's, the last one should be right in the middle. So that should be the one. 
So these are the some like bad choices of those eight people. So we will guarantee that the couple will have no adjacencies. So I hope that makes sense. And then if you look at the other option, like to kind of randomly seat those eight people, there's no other ways other than these three cases. But we have to be careful because, you know, when I say the like two, 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 I said, let's say um, two people will be on the each, this row. So, but I do have some option, you know, I can have these two people on these two, or I can have these two people on the last two, or I can take one and the last one. So there are three ways to kind of seat those two people on the first row. So, which is why we have three options for the first one. So that's why we wanna continue with the same idea. So if I just wanna kind of ask myself, how many, how many ways, how many ways can I complete the second one? So I have still the same like number of ways, which is three ways to uh, do this as well. I can take these two or these two or the first and the last one that will make uh, two people on this row and then there is no uh, other ones. Okay, so in the same reasoning for the third row, that will be three and three. So that's just 81 ways to place two people in each row. Okay, that wasn't too bad. But the second one, we need to make sure we are gonna have two rows, we'll get three people, but we don't know which two rows, like is it this one or that one or this one and this one or this one and last one or middle two and stuff. We don't really know that, but what we can do, you know, we can just take two rows out of four rows to determine what rows will get three people. So which is four choose two, okay? And times, as soon as we have the, uh, like two rows that will have three people. So that will be just, let's say this one and this one. So the other two should have only one. And we do know if you, let's say we select these uh, rows as three people, and then the middle two has to be, let's say the one person each row, we have to make sure that those middle one has to be the ones. So meaning that as soon as I have like uh, four choose two, so there is like only one way to complete the remaining two people. So they has to go the right in the middle. So which is why I, I, I have nothing else but one a way to end this uh, seating. So which is basically uh, six ways to end this seating uh, arrangement as well. Okay, so I hope that is clear. So the last one is a bit complicated. Uh, so we do need to select one of these four rows that will have three people. So which can be done or choose one way because we need one row. Let's assume we choose this row, three people. And now we need two rows that will have two people, right? So let's say we wanna choose this row and this one or this one or that one. You can just go and count them, but that is actually, we have three rows left and then we need two of them. So that's basically three choose two. As soon as we have chosen those two, we have only one row left that should have only one person which will go to the right in the middle but here's the problem with ending at this point i said you know for the first one like one of the rows will have three people let's say this one and let's say this guy uh, will have two people let's say this one has two people and then this is the middle one so this is one of the ways to achieve this one but the problem with this you know when you have two people on each row there are three ways to do this I can take the last two or the first two or the first and last. So meaning that these two people can be arranged three ways and the same as as the way for the first like row which has another two people. So that will be three ways as well. And for the last one, one person has nothing but the middle one. So which is why we don't really care, which is only one option. And if you multiply this, that's going to be four, and this is three. That is a nine. So nine twelve is hundred eight. So these are the three cases we have for the bad cases, meaning that this is what we don't want. So if you add them, so 87 plus, uh, yeah, 87 plus 108, 195. So we have 195 ways to place those eight people so that we don't have any two adjacencies for the, the next uh, couple, right? So that's the bad cases. But what is the total cases? The total cases is like we have, you know, 12 people. And then if you want to select eight 
uh, random uh, seats for them. So that will be just eight choose, I mean, 12 choose eight. And this ratio is what we do not want, but what we want is one minus of this. And this is the questions it's asking. So instead of dealing with 12 choose like uh, eight, I'm gonna do 12 choose four because the number of ways to choose eight people is the same as the number of ways to choose four people, because when you choose eight people, you are determining four people that you don't want it, which is the same number of ways. Okay, so that will be 12 times, 11 times, 10 times, nine. And then this is divided by four factorial. Okay, so four and three is 12, cancel that. So you will get five. So we do have 11, five and nine. So let's go ahead and write that. 195 over 11, five and nine. So to make a bit like simplification, we may divide this by five, so that should be one. 19 divided by five is three, so 45 divided by five is nine. So it looks like one minus, I can actually cancel by three as well, so that should be three and 13. So you will get 13 over three times 11 and one, which is 33. And one minus this number is just 20 over 33. So you could try this question by casework, but it is a bit complicated, to be honest, compared to the complementary approach, because only there are 13, like all of 30 ways that will be what we don't want, which is 20 is what we want. So 20 and 13 is not too far away from each other. So if you'd like to challenge yourself with the casework, so that would be a good one as well. I hope that was clear. And if you do feel uh, challenged by this, maybe you should review the combination uh, with advanced problems, okay? So I'll see you in the next video.